More words in the darkness. So let's talk about it. Let's be serious. People are scared. You know, some people are wondering what's going to happen. You know, would the country go back to the way it was? Some people say that we're going to keep having Corona. I personally believe that there must be a unity with the light of the creator. That we have to access forces that we have never really accessed before. I think we've been living in disability in the sense that uh, the way the Bible was translated and utilized to be able to distort and create chaos and murder um, has really pushed people away from connecting to the light of the Creator. And rightly so. I think people go back and they look at the history of religion and they realize that this is not something that they want to be a part of. And even to this day, we have the Vatican. You know, we have the situation with the priests and the ripple effect of what that does in the lives of individuals. Um, I was watching on YouTube the other day and I, and I was watching How to Catch a Predator <laughs> because I wanted to do a comedy with cats. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because they're predators. So, um, and I... And I realize that a lot of these people that were involved in these crimes uh, were involved, were somewhere connected to the Catholic Church, whether they were teachers, whether they were people that had gone, you know, and it just, it, it you start to see the pattern. You start to see the pattern of effect on humanity. And so the question becomes, where do we go from here in regards to religion? I think that for me personally, Kabbalah has been really integral and important because it allows a mathematical element to the whole situation. And so it allows you to be able to scientifically prove things when you're having a communion with the Torah, with the Bible. So for instance, you would go for a month without eating pork and seeing how your energy goes. You go for a week without masturbation and see how that goes. You go for a month. You know, there's certain different elements that come into play. And there's some controversial things that different people have different opinions on. But ultimately, it's your heart and your soul that would allow you and lead you into the direction where you need to go. Because the best teacher is the light of the creator. There's a lot of tools. A lot of different people say different things. For instance, I shaved... Some people say you're not supposed to shave during the Omer, you know, and for instance, it's a Saturday. A lot of people go to church on Sunday, but in reality, it's Saturday, the day of worship. So there's just a lot of things and the erosion of, of our unity and our genuine childlike love for one another and what the Internet has done for us and pushed us away into this element of mistrust. And having ideals of what we think people should be and how they should be. And when they don't fit into our ideals, then it allows us to be able to go into our corners through the internet, through whatever it is that we do. It's very simple for us to isolate ourselves. And so because it's very simple to isolate ourselves, I think that the universe, to in many degrees, has brought that to fruition with this kind of virus that is plaguing the nation. We're, we're actually literally isolating ourselves. What's next? What happens next? How do we move forward from this whole situation? I'm not sure. I personally think that we should start growing fruit and food because that's the most important thing that we're going to be needing in the near future. So what do you think? I will make more videos about this. Um, and I'm hoping that you're staying safe, that you're making great choices. That you're planting food for your future, for your friends, for your family. That you're reaching out to your neighbors and you're connecting to people. And seeing how we can flourish through this whole situation. And beyond into something so much better. Thank you. And I wish you a wonderful eternity.